It's Lucy's birthday today. She ordered a cake. But unfortunately, the delivery guy brought the wrong one. Lucy goes to the pastry shop herself and asks to replace the cake. There are three cakes left in the fridge. Can you find the correct one? The first cake has a bride and groom figurine on top, so it's probably a wedding cake. The second cake is meant for another customer named Mary. Therefore, the third one belongs to Lucy. Lucy takes the cake and heads home. She's passing by an Italian restaurant. Can you spot a vampire hunter among these people? It's this chef with a garlic necklace. Finally, Lucy returns home. Some of her guests are already here. Her sister Stella, her college friend Anna, and her colleague Jessica. Lucy asks them to iron her new party dress and rushes to the shower to freshen up. Then she returns to the guests. The dress is perfectly ironed, but there's a huge blue stain on it. Can you figure out who put the stain on her dress? It was Jessica. She has blue ink on her hands because her pen was leaking. Lucy goes to her bedroom to find a new outfit for her party. Then she returns to the kitchen to check on the cake in the fridge. Oh no! Someone has bitten it! Lucy hasn't even blown the candles yet. Who's guilty? Take a look at the crime scene. There's a used fork with some red lipstick on it. Anna is the only one who's wearing red lipstick. The mystery is solved. Lucy gives Anna a postcard with the following text. Can you decode this rebus? You are under arrest. It's time to unwrap the gifts. Lucy's guests say, you have to crack our riddles to get the gifts. Riddle one, I get shorter the more I'm used, but I'm not a pencil. I'm made of wax, but I'm not a crayon. I can help you see in the dark, but I'm not a flashlight. I'm often found on a birthday cake, but I'm not icing. What am I? I'm a candle! Lucy gets her first gift from Stella. The guys go ahead and invite Lucy to crack the next riddle. I can pop, but I'm not popcorn. Sometimes I have a string attached, but I'm not a kite. Sometimes I float, but I'm not a swimmer. I'm seen at birthday parties, but I'm not a candle. What am I? I'm a balloon. Lucy gets a bunch of balloons from Jessica. To get the third gift, Lucy needs to solve the following riddle. I bake, I rest, I come in different shapes, and I sometimes live with a flame on top of my head. What am I? I'm a cake! Suddenly, someone rings the doorbell. Lucy opens the door and sees three people in carnival masks. Two of them are late guests of Lucy, but one of them is an imposter. Can you guess who? It's the person in the middle. He doesn't have any feet, and he's floating in the air. This guy must be a ghost! Lucy returns to the kitchen. Oh no! Someone popped the balloons! Let's have a look around. Jessica is trying to get rid of a stain on her clothes. 
Stella is lighting a candle, and Anna is finishing her pizza sitting right next to the balloons. Who's guilty? Anna is wearing a dress with spikes. They must have poked some holes in the balloons. It's time to blow out the candles. Lucy pours tea for all the guests. Then she leaves the table to have a brief phone call. Lucy returns and takes a sip of tea from her cup. Yikes, it's very salty. Lucy interrogates three people around the table. Stella says, I didn't touch your cup. I was busy taking a selfie. Anna says, I was cutting fruit, only your sister is capable of such a silly prank. And Jessica says, I was in the bathroom, so I didn't see what was happening at the table. Who's lying? Anna, look! She's hiding the salt shaker in her dress. Anna admits that she was trying to destroy the party. She's turning 22 today, but everyone forgot about her birthday. Lucy wants to make amends. Take a look around and try to find a possible gift for Anna. Hey, Lucy's birthday cake still has unlit candles in the shape of numbers 2 and 5. Lucy can turn the five upside down, make the candles look like 22, and present them to Anna. Luckily, Anna forgives Lucy. Some of the guests start dancing. Suddenly, the light goes off for a second and then comes back on. Stella screams, someone stole one of my diamond earrings. She questions three suspects. Lucy's boyfriend, Bill, says, I was trying to film a TikTok dance when the lights went out. Anna says, I'm afraid of the dark, so I just landed on the sofa. Lucy's co-worker, Oliver, says, I wanted to ask Stella to dance, but suddenly it became dark, so I just froze. Who stole the earring? No one. It just fell under this chair. Lucy decides to take some party pictures. Can you find three differences between these two pictures? Here they are. Let's see if you can find three differences between these pictures. Over here. Let's make the task a little harder. Can you spot five differences between these images? Here they are. Bill is an artist. He gives Lucy his painting as a birthday gift. What's wrong here? There's no river. Can you help Lucy distribute these party hats among her guests? Stella loves the color yellow, but she's not fond of green. Oliver doesn't like the color purple and stripes. Anna is allergic to flowers, but she loves stars. Jessica doesn't like the color yellow, and Bill is not fond of orange decor. The first hat is for Jessica, and the second one is for Stella. Anna should get the third hat, Bill the fourth one. And finally, the fifth hat is perfect for Oliver. Lucy and her guests run out of food, but they're still hungry. There's a pizza restaurant just next to Lucy's place. Bill decides to go there. He rushes over and bumps into another customer. Bill hits his head and forgets what pizza Lucy asked him to buy. He remembers just three things. The pizza topping shouldn't include more than four colors. It shouldn't have any onions. 
but it must have at least one green element. Can you help Bill find the correct pizza? Four cheese pizza and margarita don't have any greenish elements, so we can exclude them. Mushroom pizza does have green olives, but it also has onions, as well as pineapple and jalapeno pizza. Goodbye! Only pepperoni pizza is in line with the assignment. Suddenly, Lucy hears someone ringing on the door. She opens and faces two dudes. They introduce themselves briefly. Peter says, I'm the nephew of your next door neighbor, Glenda. She sent me here to borrow a cup of sugar from Lucy. And Rick says, I'm a delivery guy. Here's a birthday gift. Can you guess who the prankster is? It's Rick. He doesn't know Lucy's name, which is weird for a delivery guy. I wouldn't risk opening this box. Lucy exposes Rick and returns to the kitchen. She discovers that someone has broken her favorite vase. Lucy interrogates three suspects. Bill says, I was in the bathroom. I just returned and noticed the broken vase. Stella says, I put roses in this vase about an hour ago, and I haven't approached it since. And Jessica says, I was dancing in the living room. About five minutes ago, I heard the sound of breaking glass from the kitchen. Who's lying? Stella, take a closer look at the broken vase. No roses, only daisies. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.